Welcome back, students. This is session 13. Or I'm sorry, lesson 13, session 2. We are in volume 1 math book. We are on page 273. You also want to make sure that you have your um, reference sheet here so that way we can go through our conversions as we're going through this. All right. Wanda is shopping for a pet carrier for her cat. One small carrier can hold 240 ounces. Her cat weighs 12 pounds. Can the carrier hold her cat? Okay, so right here, it gives us our measurement right here, but again, I want you to go over here. So we're working with pounds and ounces. So I'm gonna find pounds and ounces on here. I see that one pound equals 16 ounces, which is what I have here. And so if I know that I'm going to take this and I'm going to convert my pounds to ounces because this is my smaller number and that's the easiest way to do it. So if you have, if you have um, one 12 pounds, how many ounces is that? How many? Well, I know that one pound equals 16 ounces, because it tells us. So I can make a chart. And do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And each time I add sixteen. But this is going to take me quite a while to do. So something that would be easier would be to take my sixteen ounces and multiply it by twelve pounds. So I'm going to have to use what I know about multiplication. So I'm going to make a multiplication chart here and I'm going to put these in expanded form. 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times 6 is 60. 10 times 2 is 20. And 2 times 6 is 12. So I'm going to add those together. and I get 192 ounces. So 12 pounds is the same thing as 192 ounces. Will a, 200, a carrier that holds 240 ounces hold her cat that weighs 12 pounds? Well, 240 is bigger than 192, so the answer is yes, it will hold her cat. So, we did it like this. You can use the chart if you want. It's just going to take you longer, and you're going to have more of a chance of adding wrong because this is a lot to add up. So if you do it this way, you would have 16, 32, 48, 64, 80, 96, 112, 128, 144, and then we would add 16 more, so 200 and, oh, <laughs> 100, and that would make that... 50, 106, 200, 160, 176, 192. See, even with, even I have to really think about that to keep adding those together and actually I think I even added wrong right here because that should be 
1644. Yeah. I even added right here. Wrong. So, it's way easier to do a multiplication whenever you're doing this than it is to try to fill out this chart. So, you would take the number of ounces times the number of pounds and get 192. Let's go ahead and move on to the next page. So, on this page here, we can see that... Um, you can do it this way where you're adding 16 ounces 12 times. Or here's another way where it adds, 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 and you just keep adding 16. But again, this way is really easy to make mistakes. The diagram in the first model shows that one pound is equal to how many ounces? 16 ounces. What do you multiply the number of pounds by to find the number of ounces? You multiply by 16 because there's 16 ounces. Write an expression. An expression is something we learned about earlier. It's where you use a letter to re represent something. So let's use P for pounds times 16. So that's our expression. So we need to find, so we have 12 pounds, P, times 16 ounces, which equals 192. And you can skip the last two on this page. Let's go to page 276. Okay, on 276, Steve buys 14 ounces of kiwi and two pounds of peaches. How many more ounces do the peaches weigh than the kiwis? Okay, do the peaches weigh than the kiwis? Well, two pounds is gonna have to be converted to ounces because I know that pounds is bigger than ounces, okay? And I know that one pound equals 16 ounces. So I'm going to take 16 times 2 to get my answer. 6 times 2 is 12. 2 times 1 is 2. Plus 1 more is 32. So 32 ounces is how much the peaches weigh. And 14 ounces is how much the kiwis weigh. But that's not my question. It says, how many more ounces do the peaches weigh than the kiwis? So then I have to do 32 minus 14 to get my actual answer. I can't take 4 from 2. Make this a 12. So we've got 8. 18 ounces more is our answer there. An empty suitcase has a mass of 2 kilograms. Draw a diagram to find its mass in grams. Show your work. So it one says to draw a diagram. One kilogram, two kilograms. One kilogram is 1,000 grams. So Two kilograms, we're going to add a thousand each time, must be two thousand grams. So our answer is two thousand grams. The table shows the mass of two boxes of raisins in grams. Complete the table to show the mass of each box in milligrams. Okay? So box one has nine grams, so how many milligrams? Well, we know that each gram is worth a thousand milligrams. So I can take a thousand and multiply it by both of these to get my answer. So box one weighs 9,000 milligrams and box two weighs 7,000 milligrams. Okay, let's go ahead and look at page 277. 
If you're starting to get the hang of this, go ahead and work on 277 and 278 on your own. If you're still feeling a little lost, then go ahead and follow along with me. Isaiah has a watermelon with a mass of 3 kilograms. Complete the diagram, then write the mass of the watermelon in grams. So on this, on this chart, we see that it's doing the 1, 1, 1. So 1 kilogram, 1,000 grams. Well, if we add these together, 1,000 plus 1,000 plus 1,000, that's 3,000 grams. Write an expression that shows how to convert kilograms to grams. Use K to stand for the number of kilograms. So we multiplied by 1,000 to get this. So it would be K times 1,000 would equal our answer. Convert the units of mass. If we have 2 kilograms, 1, 2, then we're going to have 2,000 grams. If we have 4 kilograms, 1, 2, 3, 4, we're going to have 4,000 grams. Okay, let's take a look at page 278. On 278, it says complete the table to convert from a larger unit to a smaller unit. So since this starts with 16, we know that we're going to add 16 every single time as we go up through here. Now, when you're doing the map test, they get a little tricky, and sometimes they will skip numbers throughout here to try to throw you off. So you've got to pay attention to what the number is. So we've got 2 is 32, 3 is 48, 4 is 64, plus 16 would be 80, plus 16 would be 96. So each time we added 16, every time we're adding 16, because that's what we started with. Neil has two pounds of grapes. He uses some to make a fruit salad. Now he has eight ounces of grapes. How many ounces of grapes does Neil use for the fruit salad? And it says to look at this table to help us solve our problem. So if he starts with two pounds, we know that two pounds is the same thing as 32 ounces. He only has 8 ounces left, so we're going to subtract 8 ounces because that's what he has left. So 32 minus 8, we can't do this. So he, has, he used 24 ounces to make a fruit salad. Select all the objects that weigh about one pound. Remember, one pound is about the size of a water bottle or like a can of soup or a can of corn or a can of green beans. A flat screen TV. No, that weighs way more. Three bananas. Yeah, that probably weighs about the same. A house key. No, oh, that's pretty tiny. A can of soup. Yep, we know a can of soup weighs about one pound. A bicycle helmet. Ooh, that one's going to be real close. What do you think? It probably depends on the bicycle helmet, huh? I would say, yeah, it probably does weigh about one pound. All right, last one for today. An adult bottlenose dolphin has a mass of 200 kilograms. What is the mass of an adult bottlenose dolphin in grams? So we're going to take 200 kilograms equals how many grams? Well, I know that one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. So I'm going to multiply this number by that number. So 1,000 times 200. So I can take 1 times 2 is 2, and then just add all my zeros here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Add my comma. And so I see that it is equal to 200,000 
grams. That's it for today. I will see you back for our next lesson.